come in in just a moment. They come equipped with a large amount of rescue equipment. Uh, but if there are hazards nearby or we have a focused area where we really want the dog to detail, we'll put the leash on and have them work a particular area you know, more intently. Dogs love working. For them, this is the most fun game. And this is still a pretty easy find for her. She recognizes that scent source right there in the animal can. He's doing that focus park alert, waiting for a handler to come acknowledge and she gets there. <laughs> safe for her to search. She can send the dog into this particular area. She's going to demonstrate that by sending the dog to the individual platforms and directing Tula to different ones using her hand signals. I think she's not on a whistle. Just hand signals and voice. test situation, the handler is given a specific pattern that they have to follow and complete it without any mistakes in three minutes. The fun, interesting, and super challenging thing of working with a canine uh, is really that you're working with another personality. Unlike a tool like a chainsaw or a piece of heavy equipment that you just need to maintain, this one requires maintenance but also requires communication and understanding. Understanding that personality, what makes them tick and excited, <laughs> and what you need to do to get them to perform the needed tasks and get the result you needed. Nice job. But uh, finding that person, like I said, who's got the commitment, the time, and the willingness to learn that dog. Like I said, it's not like a tool where you just need to understand. Or just commentary. Um, any questions so far that you would like to have answered for our...